I seen that she was texting the guy, and when she came in the house, I punched her in her eye. I gave her a black eye. I'm the mother of your child. His actions are the reason that we had an affair. You need to let him know. An affair? With her? Look how you treat me. Do you hit her? Yes, sir. You got to do something to fix it, or you got to break up. Now, what's going to happen with you two? Do you love her? I'm sick and tired of your craziness. I'm not a whore. I'm your wife! And I see a dating profile. Looks like my wife. Cook, cook. It's not me. Do you think she just married you for a green card? I wonder. I married you for love number one. Well, she took a lie detector test. I think he's trying to set me up because he's so probably the one think... cheating. Are you cheating on her? Never. Never. Yes, you are. Oh, okay. Yes, you are. Okay. Yes, you are. Three years ago, Michael was a guest on my show. And my wife decided to get married to another man. You're still married to her now? Yes. I've been trying to get a divorce for the past year, and he won't do it. Now, Jessica is married to yet another man. So now she's married to a sixth guy. I still care about her. Michael's still in love with you, which yeah, I don't it's... understand. I don't either. Tell the truth, Mike. You're a punk ass bitch. You what will not let her have her son because she's with me. Shaquita and Ashley are two women who never imagined they would end up with abusive boyfriends. They have been pushed, punched, and even given black eyes. Today they say they've had enough. Take a look. My best friend and I call the show because our boyfriends are abusing us. We've been friends since childhood. We basically going through the same thing. It started four months ago after I had our daughter. I was talking to some male friends and he got real jealous about that. I mean, he choked me, slapped me. There are the times where he'd accuse me of sleeping with this and that person in the neighborhood. He'll go through my phone. A week ago, he came home angry. He thought I had someone in the house. And he hit me and he blacked in my eye. He punched me because of that. He'll just flip and just, like, everything just go blank. And he just don't realize what he's doing. And it shocked me when he first did it because he was never like this. So he'll try to talk soft like, you know, it's nothing. And then he'll just flip. He'll take, he takes deep breaths and he flips and he'll come at me, and whether it's a push or a shove, hitting is hitting, and I feel like it just needs to stop. And I just want the abuse to stop. If he doesn't stop, then I have to leave. Shaquita and I are not going to take this abuse anymore, and we're here to tell them that today. Are you abusing her? Yes, I have hitting her because, I mean, it all started. Okay, stop right there. Get your ass out of my chair. <laughs> Yes, I have been hitting her because it all started about four months ago. I went through her phone. I seen that she was texting the guy and telling our business. So when she came in the house, I asked her about it. She started getting a lot about it. So yeah, I hit her. We've been together four years. The whole four years, I never put my hands on her until now, until I start going through her phone. Yeah, I, of course, I'm going to start there, accusing her is too. Is there any good reason for you to hit her? But yeah, I'm wrong. But I mean, she thinks she, I think she need to admit when she's wrong too. All this is not on me. Listen, if she did that, she's wrong. But that, for, no, even if she, you found her in bed with another guy, I mean, you can't beat somebody up. You can't put your hands on them. If, if, if that's the case, you say, you know what? You're being disloyal to me. I'm out of here. I mean, right? Yeah, you right about that, but I mean... I mean... Right, listen, one week ago, you punched her in the face and gave her a black eye. Yeah, I did punch her. Why did you punch her? I punched her because, okay, one day I came home, I knocked on the door, she didn't answer the door. So, so yeah, I accused her of having somebody in the house. We was arguing and I punched her in her eye. You, I understand that you had a baby with her. Yes, I do. How long ago? Four months ago. So, happy four month birthday for our child, boom. <laughs> Someday if your daughter lies to you, you're gonna punch your daughter in the face? No, that'll never happen. But if you can't control your anger with your girlfriend, I seriously doubt if you're gonna control your anger with any other woman, like including your daughter. Um, let's bring out your girlfriend, the mother of your beautiful little girl, Shaquita. How you doing? Fine. Um, you're obviously here because I think the big issue is he's abusive to you. Um, and he's saying he's abusive to you because he thinks you're cheating. Um, you just recently, in four months, gave him a beautiful baby girl. Yeah. And then a couple months after this gift of life comes into your life, 
He's taking his fist and he's pushing it into your face. I mean, you act like I do it every day or something. I mean, you act like I've been doing okay, it for the past. Okay, let me rephrase years. it. Let me rephrase it. He once took his fist and pushed it into your face. The man that you lay down with every night punched you in the face. I hear it really hurt because he never used to be like this before. Have you been cheating on Danny? I've never cheated on him with a man. That's so bad. You never I feel like she's lying. You never cheated on him with a man? Never. Um, talk to him. What made you start hitting me? Well, I think you made me like this. How I made honest. you like this? Because, I mean, I shouldn't have to go through your phone to see nothing like that. You I mean, shouldn't have went through my phone. Still, I feel like I shouldn't okay, have to see that Okay, you have female phone. friends. I have male friends. I don't accuse you of cheating. But still, that's I don't not what accuse I'm you of cheating. That's not what I'm saying, though. Okay, what but that's you not saying? what I'm saying. What like saying? I said, I shouldn't have to go through your phone. We've been together four years. Don't go now. through my phone. But four then. years, four years, four years. Now. four years. And I had to go through your phone to see something like that. You and I done told you about my phone. past relationships. I'm not your past relationship. Right. I'm mm. the mother of your child. I understand. Yeah. So I gotta ask you, do you wanna be with him? I do. I ain't gonna lie, I do. I understand you want to be with him, but I got to imagine you're tired of him putting his hands on you. Yeah, I am. And if it don't stop, I will leave him. His actions are the reason that we had an affair. An affair? Well, huh? Now, what's going to happen with you two? Do you love her? Do you think she just married you for a green card? I wonder. Well, she took a lie detector test. I think he's trying to set me up because he's the probably the one cheating. Are you cheating on her? Never. Never. Yes, you are. Oh, okay. Yes, you are. Okay. Yes, you are. His actions are the reason that we had an affair. An affair? Well, huh? Now, what's going to happen with you two? Do you love her? Hi, uh, your friend Ashley is here, and she's also in the kind of same situation you're in. Let's bring her out. Get up, get up. Let him know, man. You can't take that no more, man. He make you look like an ass, man. Quita. He make you look dumb as hell. Let him go. Let him go. Let him go, man. You need to let him know this. You need to let him know. His actions and his ways are the reason that we had an affair. You need to let him know. An affair? You need to let him know. Oh. Wait, wait, wait. Hey. Hold on. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Wait. You two are having an affair? Yes. So when was you gonna tell me this? I mean, how long this been going and on? you can't fault her for so that, man. You can't fault her for that. I don't care. You can't fault her for that. Look at what you doing. Body year. Yeah. Body year. Why you don't? I don't got time to hear all that. You know, I ain't got time to hear all that. Why? I don't got time to hear all that. Why you can't fall for that? So, okay. Look at you, what no, you would take. Do what you expect. I, I, I what ain't got time for that. Look how y'all treat us. I ain't got time for that. But still, you don't got time for that. I ain't never cheated on you, but you can cheat on me with the same sex. Can I ask, why did the two of you start sleeping together? Because both of us are in an abusive relationship, okay? And this is my best friend. I can go to her, and I can't even talk to my own boyfriend about our problems. I go to her, she comforts me. And when she come to me about her problems, and when she come to me with her problems, one thing led to another, and you know it was just there. It was there. It happened. It was no screen attached, but at the time she made me feel good. Now, um, not this matter, but I'm just curious. Um, was this the first time you've both been with a woman for the, the first fr time? Yes. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, so this was kind of out of the blue, right? And you just said on stage that you still want to be with him. Do you love her? Are you going to continue with it, is what I'm asking? No. You want it to continue, though? No. Oh, you don't? No. I don't want to continue with her, and I don't want to continue a relationship with my boyfriend, either. So you want to end having sex with her? Yes, I want to end it all. I don't know where this is headed, but your boyfriend's here. Can we all go back out on stage? Um, 
So Ashley, your boyfriend's here, and you say he abuses you also. Yes, sir. Uh, do you have children with him? I don't have any kids. Any with him. And you don't have any children. All right, let's bring out your boyfriend, uh, Jasper. And how you gonna do this with me, yo? With her? Look how you do me. Look how you treat me. Man. With my friend, man, with your friend. What y'all thinking, man? I call you my sister, yo. But you hit her. Do you hit her? Yes, sir. What are you thinking? <laughs> I mean, in all honesty, listen, you know, when you're cheating, you're wrong. But maybe because of your behavior, you guys are doing this. You're driving them to be together. Let me ask you, why do you put your hands on your girlfriend? Same thing. Phones. Phones and texting and cheating. and cheating. Yeah. But when it gets to a point where you're being physically violent to each other, either you got to do something to fix it or you got to break up. Steve, I don't want to be with him. I mean, reason being is because I think it's time that I just leave all this alone. I need to get myself together, and I feel like he need to get himself together. It's kind of a mature, healthy attitude of you need to get yourself together. She needs to get herself together. Can you handle that? Yeah, I can handle it. Okay. I don't ever want to talk to her again, though. All right. Let's worry. Now, what's going to happen with you two? So you don't need him, man. You don't need him. I mean, if he's going to stop, I'm going to try to make it work. Are you going to stop? I plan on stopping. Like I say, I don't feel like a okay. man for hitting on her. Okay, I'll say this. Okay. No, no, no. You say you plan on stopping. I'm going to say plan on stopping and stopping are two different things. Um, I, don't, I don't think you're going to be able to go that alone, okay? I would say I'll come back to you when you finish anger management or get some counseling for anger. I don't, so you, I don't feel like I need no anger management. <laughs> That way I see it. I don't feel like I need it. Okay, why won't you explore the opportunity to get some help? I don't help? need no anger management, and I am going to save my relationship. Like I said, I'm going to stop putting my hands Is on her. Is that good enough for you? If you don't do anger management, we ain't going to work it out. We're going to give it to him. He won't take it. What are you going to do? I'm going to leave him. There you go. <laughs> you say you're going to take it. I'll take it. Good for you. I'm proud of you. The offer stands even when you leave the show. If you want it, you call us back for now. Thanks for being on the show. Uh -huh. You too. Thanks, guys. Um, the show is over now, and if we can offer you some professional help, we'd love to do that. Um, but I honestly, if I were you, I would not let him back in your life. I would never sleep with him ever again never. until he gets some help. If you, you know. I mean, he has stated that he has this problem. So I hope that you call us back and let us know and we can update this story. And maybe he did go, but I certainly don't want to do an update where you went back to when you never got anger management training and he hit you again. All right? Good luck to you. And I see a dating profile. Looks like my wife. Cook, cook. It's not me. Well, she took a lie detector test. I think he's trying to set me up because he's so probably the one cheating. Are you cheating on me? Never. Never. Yes, you are. Oh, okay. Yes, you are. Okay. Yes, you are. Tell the truth, Mike. You're a punk ass bitch. You will not let her me. have her son because she's with me. And I see a dating profile. Looks like my wife. Cook, cook. It's not me. Well, she took a lie detector test. In my opinion, social networking sites are a waste of time and can often cause problems in relationships. Today, Mike and Tasia say these sites have ruined their marriage. Take a look. The trust between my husband and me has been broken. My husband's accusing me of having an online profile. He accuses me of being on dating sites and chatting with men. The accusations have got to stop. I don't have a Facebook page. I didn't set up a Facebook page. To be accused of cheating makes me feel dirty. Like, he doesn't, he doesn't respect me. This is ruining our family, and it's all for unnecessary things because I'm not doing any of those things that he's accusing me of. This photo is from the day Mike and I got married at the courthouse. 
Even though we were legally married, we still had a whole entire wedding planned. I've been planning this wedding for about a year. I bought my dress. I told all my bridesmaids. Three of my bridesmaids got their dresses. And with the fighting and the accusing and the point, pointing fingers, Mike made me cancel my wedding. I thought I deserved that. I thought I deserved to walk down the aisle at the church just like anyone else would. I thought it'd be special because I'm a good wife. I love my husband with all my heart and I want to live, I want to grow old with him. And he's ruining everything, accusing me and I didn't do these things. He's breaking my heart. He's gonna push me away. Uh, we've been together six years. We've been married for a year and we have two kids together. In the beginning, of the relationship, she was with her boyfriend. So she was cheating on her boyfriend? Yeah, she would cheat. I was single, she was cheating on her boyfriend. Two years later, uh, he leaves, and she, you know, we were getting to the point where either is, are we gonna be committed or not? So I'm like, I'll be committed to you as long as you're honest, completely honest and faithful. I don't care all your flaws, everything like that. Be completely honest with me. Well, she gave a guy a number and actually invited him to come over after, after the club. Would she invite him over for sex? She said no, but 3.30 in the morning after the club. Okay, so, but, so she didn't cheat on you? Not that I know, no, so uh, I let that so, go. Right. You know, I didn't want to believe anything cheating. And uh, we had a daughter together. We have two kids, a four-year-old and a two-year-old. Now, I guess some of the story is that she's not an American citizen. Yeah, I wonder sometimes if she married me for a green a card. A green card. Wonder. Um, now, you believe that she created a, a, um, a profile oh. on one of these uh, um, social networking sites? Yeah, we were getting counseling, and he said that was a major reason for divorce. So you said, hey, let's get rid of these social networking sites. Yeah. Because all they can do is cause trouble, right? Yeah. So you both took them down. N now, yeah. Yeah. And then you discovered one with her profile. Yeah. Well, she, she tells me about a girl, you know, blatantly tells me, hey, this girl was on Facebook. I'm thinking, you know, that's, oh, you know, it's being honest, but it's thinking something's there. So I, I go and check the history. Facebook's one of the favorites. And um, I find a picture that looks like her. Hey, that's my, you know, that's my wife. I wake her up, what's going on? She said, that's not me. That, that's not me. The very next night, I still haven't talked to her about it. I come home, and if you go in favorites and check history, you could check three weeks, two weeks, today. So I check today, and I see a, uh, a dating profile. I leave the computer on the couch, open to the page. I sleep on the couch, and she, but she took the laptop and hid it under her son's pillow. But you found it. I, well, yeah, she comes home from work. She wants to prove her. She wants, she's like, you're accusing me. This is crazy. You're crazy. There's no reason. There's no let me, let, So long story short, mm -hmm. your wife says you're crazy. Yeah. You're accusing her of cheating. Yeah. Do you uh, think she just married you for a green card? And I wonder. I wonder. OK. Well, she took a lie detector test. Yeah. And obviously, if she passes, you're going to be happy about that. Yeah. And if she we fails, have... what, what would you do? I mean, um, this um, isn't the case of. I'm not. I'm not being. A, I'm not going to be a fool. I'm. I'm leaving. I want my kids. You're going to take the kids with you. I'm, I'm not taking them away. Right. I, but, want, I want my kids. Right. You know. Um, you had this big wedding plan for yes, November, we, yes, and you did. called it off. I. I didn't call it off. She called it off and got the money back. So she's got the money. She got the money. She called it off. Okay. She paid for it though, but she got the so money. So she should get the money. Yeah. Why not? All right, well, let's bring her out. Uh, Tasia says she loves you. You yeah. wonder if she really does. Let's find out. I can't believe you, Mike. I can't believe you're sitting here accusing me. Every single day, I'm sick and tired of it. Mm -hmm. I'm sick and tired of your craziness, saying I'm doing this and doing that. I'm not a whore. Okay. And you're sitting here, and you're acting like you don't care, and you're making up all these little stories about me. They're true. What's not true? And you're looking at me, and you know that I'm dead serious. I am not playing. You are my husband. Yeah, I got my, I got my green card through you. Yeah, thank you very much. Mm -hmm. I married you for love number one. Yeah. Love is number one. The papers, that was an e extra bonus, because I love you, and you're my husband. Go 
Cook? It's not me. I think he's trying to set me up because he's the so probably the one cheating. Are you cheating on her? Never. Never. Yes, you are. Oh, okay. Yes, you are. Okay. Yes, you are. Now, Jessica is married to yet another man. So now she's married to a sixth guy. Tell the truth, Mike. You're a punk ass bitch. You what will not let her with? have her son because she's with me. I think he's trying to set me up because he's the so probably the one thing. cheating. Are you cheating on her? Never. Never. Yes, you are. Oh, okay. Yes, you are. Okay. Yes, you are. I bust my butt setting up that wedding. Bust my butt. I made plans. Right. I made a lot of plans. Right. Because I want to get married under God. Because I wanted me to. Too. I wanted God to bless us. Me too. I bought my dress. I bought my earrings. I paid two hundred and fifty dollars for the for the for the church. Why would I be wasting my time and doing all that for what? For what? If I'm a well, cheater and I'm anyway, this and I'm that. You, you, because for the for the big show, for the big show. For the big show. The big no, show, no, like no, the, the rescue friends. I paid. I paid show. three months' rent. It's not a big show. I paid all the. It's I paid all, the, all my money on taxes and I'm a good, for the bills. And I'm a good woman. And for any my kids, woman, for the house, I paid the bills. Any good woman would want to walk the down the aisle yeah. and 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 see the men they love down the aisle and walk and meet him. There she goes. Are you cheating on him? No. Did you cheat on him? No. Did you set up this uh, networking profile? No. And he says he goes in and on the history, there's all this Facebook stuff. Did you marry him for the green card? No, that you, uh, that was a bonus. Yes. Was there a you profile with your information and picture on it? Um, it was a girl. She resembles me. I'm gonna tell you the truth. She does resemble me, but somebody's trying to set me up. And was it with your information? It was. It was my. It was my first name, but somebody else's last name. And do you think somebody's trying to set you I up? I think he's trying to set me up so it's because he's the so probably one cheating. So you think he made up the account? I think he made up the account. That's an interesting point. That is. But where did I get the picture? That's not, I don't know, That's because I don't wife. have it. You don't have pictures of your wife? She said it's not her. It's not me. Um, so you say that's your wife, huh? That's not her I hair. mean, it, 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 it vaguely resembles her. Does, does that look like her? No. I, you know, I if she know. passes this test, yeah. you're going to look like a big moron out hey. there. I, I hear you. I got to ask this. Um, you ever cheat on her? No, never. Do, are you cheating on her? Never. Never. Yes, you are. Oh, okay. Yes, you are. Okay. Yes, you are. Why would you think that? Because. Why would, why you, would you think it? Why would you think that? I right. could go on. I've done nothing hours, but being good woman to you. I cook hours. you dinner every time you come home from work. I'm the one that Once buys our movies. For I'm always the Once one trying week. to spark the romance. Mm. You don't spark the romance. Yeah. The romance is gone because of your accusations. Okay. All you're doing is pushing me away and making me feel dirty because I'm your wife. All right. While in a relationship with Mike, have you ever cheated on him? She answered no. Subject told the truth. You're going to stop accusing me. You're going to lose your family. You better get it together. Hold on. Hold on. Some more questions. Right. Did you marry <laughs> Did you marry Mike only for American citizenship? You answer no. I believe. She told the truth. I believe that. <laughs> Did you set up a Facebook account after you promised your husband that you would not use the sign anymore? You answered no. And the results are she did not tell the truth. That's not true. That's not true. Now, you were quite happy with the first two results. Yeah, but. OK, yeah, but nothing. OK. While in a relationship with Mike, have you ever set up an account on a dating website in hopes to meet other men? And you answered. No. And you told the truth. Uh. You know, when you go through some rough times, like you have been going, mm -hmm. you know the truth now. How about just wiping the slate clean 
love each other like you have been loving each other, and that's probably the best thing you can do, right? Be happy. Be happy. Three years ago, Michael was a guest on my show. And my wife decided to get married to another man. You're still married to her now? Yes. I've been trying to get divorced for the past year, and he won't do it. Now, Jessica is married to yet another man. So now she's married to a sixth guy. Tell the truth, Mike! You're a punk-ass bitch! You will not let her her have her son because she's with me! Now, Jessica is married to yet another man. So now she's married to a sixth guy. Tell the truth, Mike! You're a punk-ass bitch! You will not let her have her son because she's with me! Three years ago, Michael was a guest on my show because his wife married another man and moved him into the house. Take a look. And my wife, three months ago, decided to get married to another man. And how was your relationship with your wife before she went to Vegas? It, it was good. It was going great. Everything was fine. How long were, were, you, were you married to her when we she were mar- We were married for a year. And you're still married to her now? Yes. Do you have a baby together? Yes. Oh, my God. How old is your baby? 11 months old. And she's now pregnant again? Yes. Which husband is the father? He is. One, your, your wife married another guy. And two, you're letting the guy live in your, your house? Yes. And does he have his own bedroom? No, he slept on the couch. He slept on the couch. I think you might be the first guy ever to wear a suit on my show. Thank you. <laughs> Gotta look good. So, Jessica, <laughs> you meet her over the internet, Correct. Michael says. Did she ever tell you that she was married? Yes. But and you know they we... have a child together? Yes. Okay. Why'd you move into his house? I took it as an act of kindness. <laughs> yeah, and it was an act of kindness to steal his wife and marry her? Mm, to give her a better life, yeah. Why would you marry two guys? Uh, because Michael knows that I want nothing to do with him, and I've been trying to get a divorce for the past year, and he won't do it. And how long have you known John? I've known John for almost six months. That's, that's enough to know somebody to jump into a, would you say it's a lifetime commitment? With well, John? I don't care how long me and John know each other. I've got the rest of my no, life saying, to know him. So you just married guys left and right you don't know? <laughs> me and Michael were on and off for this whole three years. We haven't been married for a year. Wouldn't it be a good idea to take your time to really get to know a man before you married him for the sake of your children? Yeah. Have some self-respect for yourself, Michael. Don't allow this to happen. Goodbye. Goodbye. And I don't know what your story is, but no matter what, you're a dirtbag for marrying another guy's wife. It's not waiting for her to get divorced. You're one of the creepiest guys I've ever had on my show. I'm glad I never have to see you again. Get off my stage. You can either go out that door and be with Michael, or you can go out that door and be with John. It's your decision. I don't made my choice. I took off my ring to Michael a long time ago. Well, then go out the door that you want to be. I will do that. I hope you and John are very happy together. We will be. Now, Jessica is married to yet another man. And Michael claims that she is neglecting their son. Let's see what Michael has to say. After the last show, me and Jessica end up getting divorced, and I end up winning custody of uh, our son. We did not speak for a while. She got her visitations and everything else, which was going good for a while, but then she ended up stopping. It was because she's with another man. She ended up going and getting married to this other guy. We're saying that whole time, we end up trying to get back together. Things seem to be going good. Her and him split up, he left. So now she's married to a sixth guy, and she said if she can't have our son overnight, then she doesn't want him. You know, it hurts me inside that she doesn't want to work with me because I'd like her to be part of his life. And it's been six months since she's seen him, and I just wish she would be a mother. I still care about her, but I just wish she'd get her priorities right. So we still talk, we're getting along a little bit better now, she says, you know, she's not really happy with her husband. So she talked to me and she says she would like to spend a day with me and a night with me to see if feelings are there. I still love her, I always love her because she gave me the best thing in the world. She gave me my son. I want to be a family and I still have feelings for her, but I want to see her put in the effort for once. So today I like to sit down, have a conversation, maybe go out to dinner and just see what happens. And I told her, yeah, my feelings are there, they're always going to be there. But I need to know that she, she can change, she can be faithful for once. You know, and I have a tattoo of her that, you know, she's always going to be part of my life. She's always going to be in my heart. That's why I'll never get it covered up. I did that for her to show her I love her, and I always will. 
Wow, we did that show a few years ago. Uh, you were, went from Michael to John to some other guy I'm about to meet. A lot of changes there. Yeah, but good changes, very good, good changes. changes. You know, I, and I'm gonna rub it in a little bit. Uh, <laughs> okay. As I said, you and John will be happy, and you said, we will. <laughs> What happened? He actually, I would just kind of look at him in a completely different way, and I was like, you know what, Steve is so absolutely right. So, so what, you know, Michael obviously has a problem. Um, Michael's still in love with you, which yeah, I don't understand. I don't either. Yeah. Um, he says you've been married six times already. I've, I've been married five times. At this time, it actually is doing really well. The new guy. Yes, and I'm actually... And this is what, like a really handsome guy is going to come out? No. No. no, okay. No, but, but he's my better half. But he's a good guy. Exactly. He's a good guy. He is, he's, he's not great. creepy. No, he's not. No, I forgot. Do you have children with Michael? I have two children with Michael. Two children. When was the last time you slept with Michael? Um, I'm going to say probably over a year ago. So you met this last guy. You've been with him for a year. So you met him when? Last September? Um, it was July. July. Yes. But then you slept with Michael in October. Does yeah. that help the situation any? No, it don't. Why did you sleep with Michael? Um, I was stupid. Well, yeah, I know that already. <laughs> Tell the truth, Mike. You're a punk ass bitch. You Watch will not let her have her son because she's with me. Tell the truth, Mike. You're a punk ass bitch. You Watch will not let her have her son because she's with me. So who's been raising your son? Um, well, I raise one and Michael raises the other. Why are you here today? Um, because for, well, according to the tape, for the last six, seven months, I have not got to see my son. When my relationship progressed with my now husband, visitation was shut off. I was not allowed to see my son no matter what I called, and I said, this is my weekend, can I have him? There was always an excuse. This isn't your weekend, your job's more important than When's your son. When's the last time you've seen your son? Um, Michael actually gave him to me for two hours about two months ago, that was it. How old is your little boy? My little boy is three. Your little boy's three. Well, my little boy don't even call me mommy. That's gotta hurt you? Yeah, I mean, it, it brings tears to my eyes, and with our other son, my, our other son is a year old, and I mean, he knows me as mommy, but he sees my husband as daddy. I think that my son needs to, you know, meet the rest of his siblings because he How has. How are there? Well, I have six children all together. Um, and how many do you have? How many do I have? Yeah. I have five out of the six. So just the one is living with Michael? Yes. And you have the other five? Yes. Um, are you and Michael divorced now? Or? Me and Michael are divorced, yes. Okay. Let's bring out your ex-husband, um, the father to two of your little boys. Let's bring out Michael. You know, Jessica, I'm really sick of this. You go and you blame me for not seeing your son. I'm the one who grew up, and I'm going to take the responsibility. You're the one who decided, uh, let's see, before this husband, you married another one before that, chose to be with him, and I want to see our son unless you had him overnight. I asked that you could have him for a few hours so he can get used to the environment since it was three months since you got to see him again. So instead, no, you chose, no, I just don't want him at all. And it's thinking of yourself before the child. You don't let me have anything to do with him. I try You over always and over. have an excuse. It's not my weekend. Oh, it's because of my husband. It's because I'm in school. It's because I work 12 hour shifts. But let's, let's face it. Um, when you were on the show before, you were totally in love with her, right? Yeah. You let another guy move into the house. Oh, yeah. Like an idiot. Like I'll an admit, idiot. I'll admit that. Right. Well, you don't have to. We saw it. Um, <laughs> <coughs> and I got this feeling in my stomach that you're still in love with her. Oh, I love her. The point is, I just don't think she could ever change. You're disgusting. Well, no, she probably won't ever change. The point is, the reason I always love her, because she gave me the best thing in the world. She gave me my son. You have a son together, right? We have two sons together. We have two together. sons together, right? No. Yes, we do. He no, just don't, don't claim the other one. Oh, so you say you have two sons together and you doubt the paternity of one of the sons. Correct. Uh, we're going to bring out uh, the new husband. Husband number five or six? Five. five. Husband number five, Brian. How you doing, Steve? How you doing, man? You think you're an angel? You want to oh, be an no, angel? Yes. 
Peninsula. We have been trying for seven months now to get that child over there once every two weeks. That's you, all we ask. You will not let weeks. her have her son because she's with me. Tell the truth, Mike. I won't because she's Tell the truth, Michael. For it. You're a punk ass bitch. You cannot punk raise a bitch. child. Your mom oh, raises oh, your child. Punk ass bitch. I stepped up. I I'm trying to be a father to six children here. How many other people want to do that? Six. I'm taking care six. of your child. Six. All right. I'm raising one of your children. Oh. Okay, okay. That's what you Let me ask you, why do you want to do that? Because I found the love of my life. <laughs> and you know what? I'm not the creepy uh, you're smiley not, dude. You're not the creepy smiley dude. Yeah, I'm the puffy smiley dude, so. <laughs> no, no, no. You seem like a nice guy. Yeah. But he loves her because he's got kids okay, with her. Okay, but you cannot let him come out here and say, that he's tried everything in his power to let her see her son, because yeah, that is a bold-faced lie. You want this, you want regular visitation. Yes. Um, would you like this child to also live with you? Yeah, I think it would be in his best interest to grow up with his siblings. What about the fairness of she's mom letting her see her son to visit, to be with him? If she was willing to, yeah, work with me, just let him get used to it. That's all I asked. That's it. it what have are to your get conditions used to it. for her to see Just for son. a week or two, just for him to go there a few hours during the week, a couple of times, then on the weekends a couple of times, for him to get used to it a couple of weeks, and boom, you, the weekends can go back. Okay. I just want him to get so used to the environment. Is, is, is that a fair request? No, it's not. Here's your final choice. You don't want to work things out of this net. You're happy where you're at. You have one choice leave with me tonight, or you can stay with him and don't ever text me again. You can call my house phone to get a hold. Don't ever text you. I have you blocked from my phone. <laughs> Goodbye. I Good evening, Mikey. Bye. See ya. I'll raise your other kid after we get him in court, you little bitch. I would just say, though, you haven't seen your son in so many months. Yeah, I In six months, you spent two hours. Go backstage. Go talk to him. Please, let's, let's get to a point okay. where you make, make seeing your son the most important thing here. Okay. What do you want? I would just like you to go and be willing enough just to give it a couple times during the week and on the weekends for a couple of weeks just for him to get used to it. That's all I ask. But Michael, he For would, the best interest of I him. I know, but he would not have to get used to me if you would abide it's by the court order. It's not just you. Fine. He knows you as mom. I am his father. All I'm asking is let him get used to the new environment. It's something he's not used to. It's not used to because you've refused to let him come no, see me. I've not. But okay. I will agree to you bringing him for my weekend where he's there from Friday to Sunday. I asked you just for a couple of weeks, just let, before it stays overnight all weekend. Just let him get you used You know what? To it. I brought you both here, and I'm, I'm, I'm listen to me. I'm trying to make a situation yeah. that you, she could see her son, that you act civilly towards you so yeah. for the best interest yeah. of the child. But right now, what I'm hearing is, you know what? We'll see each other in court. We'll let a judge hash and it I out. And I don't want that. Well, it doesn't. But she's trying to be a little flexible. You don't seem like you're flexible at all. Well, I can be flexible. I'm just asking, OK, fine. So we can start out, how about a couple times during the week? You know what? Over the show's over, OK? Mm -hmm. Show's over. I don't know if this is going to end up in court or if you're going to work it out as uh, like mature adults. I don't think if I stand here for the next hour that we're going to get a resolution here. So. The two, you can walk off stage, go back into a green room, talk about it, and I hope things work out for you. I hope it doesn't take that two grown adults, it has to go to a judge, and judge is gonna tell you what to do with your children. Go back and work it out. Okay. All right. Good luck. Thank you, Steve. Good Appreciate luck it. Too.